Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. We are the hope of this world. You must believe this. Don't ever think you are little. For in the days to come, even the, the smallest spark of light will be of benefit to men. Gross darkness will come upon this earth. It's already happening. But the Bible says upon you, it says you will arise and you will shine. Not only will you shine the light, you will become the light. Hallelujah. The secret of spiritual growth is progressive revelation. There is nothing else that can make a man grow. The Bible says that when God made man in the Garden of Eden, the life that they had was supposed to be sustained by the continuous eating of the trees of the Garden. They were not eating it for hunger. They were eating it because it had the capacity. It was called the tree of life. It had the, the capacity to give life. And that tree is the accurate revelation of the word of God. So as we receive the word of God, there is... An unveiling of the reality of this life this Zoe life that we talk about hallelujah praise the Lord I'm excited because many of you may not realize that every great revival started with a movement that was concealed people did not know that this was how far God would go until the fire became so much that no devil could stop and he began to move from city to city hallelujah there's an army rising up there's an army There's an army rising up to break every chain, 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 break every chain. Can you just sing that part? There's an army rising up. There's an army. We are this mighty army. There's an army rising up. There's an army that is rising up. There's an army we're rising up to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. 
the prophet began to speak malachi the prophet started speaking and he said there will be a sign that will characterize the coming of jesus he says shortly before the day of the lord elijah will come again hallelujah did you know that the bible never tells us anything about elijah's birth origin it just tells us this this wicked system this she goddess called jezebel who was married to the king jezebel was a witch she was not a wife that's why she reappears in revelation again in the book of revelation jezebel reemerges again hallelujah the personality jezebel was an adumbration of a system hallelujah and the bible says during her time the prophets of god suffered so much the prophets of baal were reigning and they locked up and killed the prophets of god suddenly a strange man without origin just imagine the bible says and elijah the tishbite from where he came we don't know we don't know who where he was taught the things that he knew the bible says he was a representative of a spirit elijah represented the sword of god and the bible says when he showed up he showed up for one assignment to conquer that she goddess and afterwards he left who is this strange man because we see him reimagine again jezebel is still in revelation elijah is still in revelation where did he come from did he just appear and elijah the teach bite where was he trained who taught him that the eye of witchcraft could not find and elijah the teach bite rose up as a cry the prophets of god were suffering only about 400 of them were being kept in disguise by a man called obediah no prophet could lift up his head and prophesy the counsel of god and the bible says in response to their cry one great prophet elijah the tishbite a single man who terrorized the system of jezebel and brought her to her knees and the bible says before the day of the lord elijah will come back again but he will not come back as a person he will come back as an apostolic generation are you getting my point and is in the similitude of what was adumbrated in the old testament nobody understood nobody knew about the training he was he was a strange manifestation the bible says elijah the tishbite and this is the making of elijah's the spirit the authentic spirit of prophecy that will arise this is how his kingdom will come hallelujah and elijah the tishbite suddenly showed up and he began to cause havoc to this godless system i need you to know that you are a representative of this spirit of elijah this authentic apostolic and prophetic spirit and the first assignment of elijah is to destroy the altars are you getting my point the first assignment of elijah is not to call the names and phone numbers of people the first assignment of elijah is to come in with a dimension of god that has not been seen that will bring the powers that be to their knees this is why i raised this song to break every chain a reemergence of the Elijah spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight I have I've just been praying for the teachings that we're going to be bringing that not only will we get puffed up with Rema and knowledge. Hallelujah. But that these teachings will sustain an ability to cause radical transformation in our lives we have said this is a season of light and brothers and sisters let me tell you there is a level of light that you carry you become a threat to the kingdom of darkness 
this is what we are training we are training you to become a light a light you will be so bright the powers of darkness cannot ignore our job is to expose the works of darkness and to bring people to accurate spiritual understanding hallelujah thank you jesus first timothy 4 verse 1 let's rush he won't stop till we look just like him he won't stop he won't stop till we look just like him God is birthing something strange in these days. God is revealing something new in our midst. He won't stop, He won't stop until we look just like Him. He won't stop, He won't stop. First Timothy 4 verse 1 now the spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons stop the Bible says in the latter time there are certain people who for some reason will depart from the faith and will begin to give heed to what deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons very interesting it didn't say doctrines that were taught by demons doctrines that were manufactured from the pit of hell and brought taught accurately by demons verse 2 speaking lies in hypocrisy and having their own conscience seared with hot iron verse 3 forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from food which God has created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth the last verse was for for every creature of God is good and nothing is to be refused if it's received with thanksgiving let's just stop there hallelujah we're examining three things tonight tonight we're going to be studying the scripture hallelujah everybody say i receive light when when our eyes are open we will be able to mature and comprehend the things of the spirit deeper let me tell you something listen do you know what scares demons and principalities and powers it's not the statue of a man or woman are you getting my point it's not your English. It's not your degree. Hallelujah. But the degree of light. The degree of light. When you see the spiritual structure of a believer, you can know his level in the spirit by the degree of light. Are you following me now? So, at the Mount of Transfiguration, Jesus revealed to us how his spirit man was. Are you getting me? It was light so bright that the people could not comprehend it. And every time we come before his presence, by revelation we keep contending to attain unto that dimension of light. And the degree to which we conform to that light is the degree to which we rise to maturity. And that's a product of revelation. The difference between revelation and information is that revelation transforms. Information just gives you awareness. If it is revelation, it must change you. It was designed to change you if you truly understand it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the latter days, verse 1 again please, that men will give room to deceiving spirits. Who are these spirits? Where did they come from? What is their ministry? Please pay attention, brothers and sisters. 
we are in a day and age that if you lack spiritual intelligence you will die are you following me now we need it as a matter of urgency in every generation there is always a contention of light and darkness there are people who just go around as social beings but there are certain people who understand spiritual things and are anointed to communicate the counsel of God to make sure that the banner of the kingdom is lifted throughout that generation and we happen to be that generation so it's important for everybody to pay attention there's a lot of error going on in the body of Christ listen please hallelujah and the error that is going on in the body of Christ is so deep it calls for immediate response hallelujah if we do not respond to the tragedy that is happening in the body of Christ and we allow this Jezebel to strangle away the prophets of God if Elijah's do not arise a time will come there will be no prophets who will speak the counsel of God are you following me now there's a lot going on in the body of Christ the continent of Africa and especially our dear country Nigeria Nigeria is the firstborn of Africa we are the model to the the continent of Africa in terms of spirituality hallelujah and it's important that we preserve the things of the spirit there are three errors in the body of Christ that we trust God to address and correct tonight hallelujah It's called apostasy. You know what apostasy is? Apostasy is a departure from the accurate truth of God's word. A departure. I preached a message, I think it was last year or year before last, the apostate church, you can get it and listen. A departure from, not, listen, listen please. I, I don't mean the departure from a doctrine. I mean a departure from the known patterns of God. Everything about the building of God's kingdom is not left for the discretion of man. Are you following me now? There is a pattern. God in his nature will not allow man to build his kingdom his own way. It has always been the character of God to create a pattern for man to access him. So apostasy is when by the activity of wicked spirits, men begin to deviate from the accurate pattern of God. And the Bible says this will happen in the latter times that some will depart from the faith. What faith? Christianity? No. 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 God never called us Christians. What is the faith? The pattern. There is a pattern that our fathers followed. They knew something that made them walk with God. They knew something that made the, the kingdom of darkness quake before them. And there is a gradual deviation. Please listen to me. The church in Nigeria is deviating fast. And there's got to be an, an intervention of Elijah. Because the few prophets of God who are left in the country are facing a lot. Jezebel is, is prospering on our pulpits, in our churches, across different places. And the prophets of God, the true prophetic and apostolic voices are being quieted until Elijah rises. And that there be an open contention between light and darkness to return the body of Christ back to pattern. Otherwise, we are going to lose it and we'll miss it, not just as a continent, not just as a nation, but as a people. Hallelujah. Say amen. 
Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 13, verse 25. Matthew 13. Jesus began to explain to us the tragedy that will befall the church. Matthew 13. Shepakata balada bakurati shebalana. Let's start from verse 23. Or 24. Let's, let's make it 24. And another parable he put forth to them saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed. That man, listen, that man is God and his purposes and counsel. So how did he start? He started with good seed. Is that true? He sowed good seed. He created a pattern. But something happened. 25. The first four words. One, two, go. But while men. This is how the spirit of the Antichrist began to enter the church. It began to cause men to sleep. The Bible says that a time came when the eyes of Eli started getting dim. And remember the Bible says the eye is the light of the body. That means if your eye is closed, there is no more light, no more illumination. There's no more access to divine things. And the Bible says that the eye of Eli started getting very dim. And that continued until it got to a point where men slept. Hallelujah. While men slept, when they began to intercourse with Babylon, when they began to respond to the promptings of this antichrist system when they began to do ministry by doctrines and patterns and methods that are not consistent with the way of god the bible says they started giving heed to deceiving spirits are you following me please and they started embracing the doctrines of demons and men slept and then the enemy came and did what so tears this is what is happening to the nigerian church there is a mixing of that which is authentic with that which is counterfeit and all of them are being mixed in our churches in our parishes in our assemblies and right now there is so much confusion it will take the accurate eye of the eagle that is brought forth by the spirit of elijah to divide between bones and marrow and show the church that no matter how this looks this is not of god hallelujah because the bible tells us something verse 26 it says but when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop then the tears also did what that means when they sowed it it was there as a tendency but it had not yet manifested are you getting my point now a lot of people started ministry hearing the voice of god but they did not stay in the spirit for the holy ghost to keep walking walking on them and pruning out anything that does not become like christ eventually as the ministry started expanding as the membership started expanding they noticed a strange thing happening in the assemblies that there were also tears that were growing verse 27 it says so the servants of the owner came and said sir did you not sow good seed in other words who gave these pastors this message where did this rema come from where did this doctrine these revelations that we have built ministries we have held conventions and meetings with teachings that have no bearing with the patterns of the kingdom the bible says they ask a question did you not sow good seed what happened on the way how then does it have tears 28 this is what made a lot of men of God think that what they are doing is right. Because in the wisdom of God and for the sake of we the elect of God, he said, no. The, see, he said, the enemy has done this. And the servant said to him, do you want us to go and gather them? That means, should we start pruning? He said, ah, in the midst of these tears, there are genuine people. They are not strong enough to stand the heat of separation. So let them grow. Verse 28, 29 now. 
he says but he said no lest while you gather up the tears you will also hurt the wheat are you getting my point now and so god allowed many churches and many ministries to grow in spite of their wrong doctrines money was still coming are you getting my point membership was still coming and because of that a lot of people thought it was an endorsement that they were doing the right things but right now the spirit of elijah is suddenly showing up because the 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 wheat has become matured enough for the separation to begin to take place and the bible says 30 now let both grow together so no problem let the church grow even with the error no problem i will have a way by my wisdom to manage it but a day will come the separation will happen are you getting my point now there are so many people that have stood upon our pulpits and said a lot of things that have god has no hand in it at all there are many conventions in this country that god has no business with what is going on are you getting me they have organized god out of church programs they have gone for ministers conferences and imbibed doctrines of demons by men and women who have no altar at all hallelujah and the bible says let them both grow so they came back applied these things and it seemed to be producing results but right now it has gotten to a point where it's destroying the remnant of the house of god and except the spirit of elijah arises and addresses it the casualty will be too much it says until the harvest and at the time of the harvest i will say unto the reapers this is a strategy first gather together what This is why we are beginning to attack these things because the season of the harvest is here the bible says you guys are farmers speaking to the nation of israel he said there is a way you can look at the atmosphere and you will know that the harvest is near and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn so it started with good seed the man of god started as a genuinely anointed person the ministry started as an authentic ministry but eventually while men began to sleep the bible says a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the eyes and it says poverty is not just lack deprivation of all sorts whether spiritual material and otherwise will come upon you suddenly like an arm bandit so this man began to sleep hallelujah and it was in that sleep you see this is listen how many of you have read the story of samson and delilah samson was a type of the church delilah was a wicked spirit are you getting my point now notice that samson was called to be a judge over israel and the bible says savior shall arise everything in the bible is prophetic it's an adumbration of something an adumbration means a foreshadow are you getting me a prophetic preplay of something that would happen samson was a man who was strong and he terrorized the philistines and then the bible notice every time men who symbolize the government of god appeared it was women that threw them down not women they were physical entities but this woman you know why woman because women have the capacity to give birth and reproduce their kind again this is why the bible calls this babylon this harlot in revelation 17 it says she's a woman that sits upon a beast that has seven horns seven heads and ten horns are you learning something tonight a terrible tragedy happening in the body of christ and listen when delilah came to samson she studied his weakness are you getting my point she carefully studied it she did not come with a sword i want to show you the mystery of men sleeping and the bible said she came and she donated her lap free of charge for him correct the first time you see the nature of the glory of god is that the glory of god does not depart suddenly 
when the glory of God in the vision that was shown Ezekiel, when it was leaving the temple, it left slowly. But adventure, the people would realize and repent. Hallelujah. The first time it happened, notice what is a woman looking for, trying to know the source of a man's strength. She didn't say, marry me. She didn't say, sleep with me. She didn't say, give me money. Are you following me now? She kept saying, Samson, tell me the mystery behind your strength. All she was concerned about was his anointing. Because it was with that anointing he would conquer the spirit of the Antichrist. Are you getting me? She wanted to kill the source of his strength. And she found out that there was a relationship between his eyes, his hair, and his strength. That was why when she captured him, the first thing that happened was his hair. The second thing that happened was his eyes. I need you to know that all these women you see in the Bible, they were not normal. They were envoys of demonic entities. Because they did certain things that did not make sense. For instance, why will Herodias ask her daughter for dancing well? She said, make sure you tell the king that I want the head of John the Baptist. What do you do with head? Are you getting my point now? There are many things that happen in Bible that if you don't read with the spirit of revelation, this is the error that many people have carried. They have just read it theologically and they have bought for doctrines that are not accurate. But the spirit of Elijah comes dividing the word of God accurately. Hallelujah. All through scripture, we'll do a quick drive if it's possible. As we, as we continue. And let me show you that disguising through people and stories has been the same battle. The battle of light and darkness. Are you getting my point now? For instance, the Bible tells us that before the coming of the Lord again, there will be a repetition of the days of Noah. Did you read that in your Bible? What happened in the days of Noah? Because you see, when Satan fell, when Satan fell, there are so many things in my head now. Let, let's just continue wherever we stop. Do you know what Satan told the angels that made them to comply? Don't you think Satan would have told them something that was really captivating for them to leave their estate and to come down to partner with him? Are you getting my point now? Because of Satan's access to the presence of God, he had knowledge of mysteries. And the Bible tells us that this man called Satan, or then the son of the morning, rebelled. He had a, he had a political ambition. All this ambition didn't start from the politicians. There is a spirit. And he, he made this manifesto clear in Isaiah 8, in, 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 in um, uh, what now? Isaiah 14 now. I will do this. I want to arise above the stars of God. I want to be like the most high. That was his manifesto. But he deceived all of these people. And when he was casted down, he was casted together with a lot of other angels. Hallelujah. And then when Adam came, I told you again that the garden of Eden is not in the earth realm. Are you getting me? That's why they cannot find it. The Garden of Eden is still intact. You go to the book of Revelation. You see the Garden of Eden still there with the tree of life. Nobody has taken anything. That garden was withdrawn. Are you getting me? It was a supernatural sphere. The reason is, look at the things that covered the garden. A cherub and a flaming sword. Can a cherub and a flaming sword just cover something that is just three-dimensional? hallelujah and man was driven out of that garden but there was a prophecy and this it was that prophecy that started this great battle are you getting me the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent and satan knows that every time jesus speaks he already has a strategy are you getting me please follow this when one of the errors that I want to correct, I hope we'll be able to establish it. 
is how many of you have heard of that thing called familiar spirits have you heard that statement i will show you the origin of the activity of what we call familiar spirits familiar spirits are not just out to monitor your life they are out to monitor the strategy of the spirit for every season help us lord help us lord help us lord where do we start from okay are you getting my story now and then when adam and eve when adam knew his wife and she gave birth to cain listen please satan thought that cain was going to be the person that god will use because they, he knew that god would need a man are you getting me so satan entered cain are you getting my point now see i'm talking of the activity please let's go to first timothy 4 verse 1 again the, i want to show you the ministry of these deceiving spirits can you see where it started from lucifer deceived the angels are you getting my point now and they came down when man fell deceived eve satan always changes the patterns of god because every time God, when God designed family, please listen. And, and, and ladies, you have to listen. This is a very powerful message. When God designed family, I hope you know that God made man the head of that family. Is that true? That means any correspondence through God, according to his structure, should go to the man. Notice how Satan changed it. Satan went to the woman. Are you getting me and everywhere you see the manifestation of his spirit the woman there that figure tries to usurp it on the man jezebel are you seeing now herodias and all of these kinds of people this is what the bible calls the devices of the enemy stratomai the greek word his methodology it may have changed and metamorphosed through seasons but the pattern is the same. That means when you sustain the eye of prophecy, you can detect him at once. Are you learning something, please? So Cain is born and Satan makes a bargain with Cain. And Cain begins to manifest another spirit. And then the Bible says how that Abel shows up. And Satan, suspecting that God may use Abel, began to move Cain to kill Abel. Are you seeing why Cain? Why will Cain kill his brother? See, it's time for you to begin to study the word, not just to get sermons, but for spiritual knowledge. Ask questions. Why will Cain just kill the, his brother? What for? Are you getting my point now? When Cain killed his brother, in a passage of time, the Bible says Cain started building a city. The Bible never told us that Cain was an architect. What made him to start lusting after building a city? It was the spirit of the Antichrist. Are you seeing? Because God wanted to build a city and name it after his son. So the spirit of the Antichrist through Cain built a city and named it after Enoch, his son. And that was where atrocity started from. Are you getting my point now? And then it got to the time of Noah. God suffered long with them. When it got to the time of Noah, listen to me, listen to me. Noah was a very strange man. He was not just an old bald headed man. Noah walked with God. Are you getting me? Noah had a manuscript that he used to build the ark. The ark was not just built carelessly of gopher wood and so on and so forth. It was a prophetic message. Are you getting my point now? Noah had secrets that he knew that made him the head of the spiritual activity of that generation. He talked with God. He communicated with God. He understood the mystery of the flood. And that was the reason why, listen, please, listen, listen. When they came out, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, there were eight people again. Satan started looking for somebody else to enter. Are you getting my point? So Satan entered Ham. Are you getting my point? And the Bible says he saw his father's nakedness. He did not just see his father's nakedness. It's a coded word. He saw into the secret of what Noah was supposed to preserve. Why will a man curse his son for just seeing his nakedness? And say you will be a servant of servants. 
is that cost not too much just for seeing a man's nakedness what of children that take care of their parents in the hospital and have to bath them and do other things it was beyond just seeing a physical nakedness it was opening something spiritual that he was not prepared for he was it was every time men shifted from god's patterns they suffered this was why he caused Cain. i mean harm and the cause that was given to harm if you read your bible very well was that he was going to serve his brothers is that true now satan found expression through harm go to genesis 11 don't you, i mean you don't need to open it but go to genesis 11 what happened suddenly another wizard who was the son of kush who was from the lineage of ham are you seeing now a man called nimrod nimrod strange man just appeared from nowhere a man who commanded such power he was a lord are you getting my point now how did nimrod gain so much influence and the bible says nimrod was a hunter we never saw one animal that nimrod hunted what was he hunting i will show you in the book of revelation that he was hunting for souls because satan suddenly realized that destroying men is not the way so he says let's adopt them and use them rather than killing them are you are you getting my mystery tonight Bible says it has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom there are things you understand that the devil will run away from you because he knows that light has brought everything that is darkness to bear are you getting my point now the problem with we preachers is that we just cut a lot of stories and tell people things that when they join the puzzles together it doesn't make sense listen listen I think I was talking to um, the, the, the music director and, and the worship team chairman they came over to my place and I told them that I've been criticized for a lot of things one of it is this faith thing I believe in faith but I've said this thing again and again years ago that faith doesn't have to be on something you don't understand are you getting my point the true concept of faith it's not just built on shadows that cannot be understood i said it last week no pilot sits on a plane and says passengers i trust god that will arrive safely i've never learned how to fly this plane but you guys just sit back sit back and 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 and, and, and enjoy there's jehovah jireh there's jehovah sikenu there's our banner and all of that and then the people sit down and say hallelujah let's just be confessing we will arrive we will arrive plane corporate we are now at 3,000 feet nobody does that are you getting my point now so faith is not a mystery it has been turned to look like anything in the kingdom you just understand just you don't understand just accept by faith have you had teachings like that God said it I may not understand it I don't care I want I don't want to understand it all I know is that Satan is the bad guy Jesus is the bad guy we are for Jesus let's win him this is what Americans are are shipping into Nigeria and we are laughing and receiving it and holding massive conventions and misleading people whereas the bible says do not be unaware of the stratomai satan is not an idiot he has a, a strategy this guy stay close to the presence of god are you learning something tonight so you see it, nimrod kush he said go to let us build a city build a city again the same city that Cain tried to build and then the judgment of Noah cancelled everything now he says let us build a city and let us make a name for ourselves listen when you study Bible history please listen I want to show you the origin of occultism and witchcraft are you following me now don't say it does not concern you the word is making you mature believers are you getting my point now do you know the origin of this thing we call occultism and witchcraft nimrod kush for according to bible history are you was the son of kush who married a woman called samiramai are you getting me and because listen please this is very very important 
Samira Mai was a witch. These were people that were possessed. They were incarnates of hell. Are you getting my point? Envoys that wanted to continue the agenda of God. Samira Mai killed Kush, her husband. Are you getting me? And Satan came and interpolated this thing. Satan came and made Nimrod to believe that in this new move and in this kingdom, he was going to make him Lord. He was going to be great. And the price for that is that he will aberrate the normal progression of, of human beings. And then Nimrod married his mother. Are you getting my point now? So Nimrod married. Are you seeing how Satan was twatting the... the do I call it the genetic code of human beings? Nimrod married his mother. Can you imagine? Now, the son, I don't know what, what they are going to call the son now. Huh? His mother is still his grandmother. As ugly as it is, listen. This was the mystery of what began to happen to Nimrod. Nimrod was a hunter of souls. His job was to exert so much influence that he would bring people to himself. Because in Revelation, when he began to tell us about this mystery Babylon and all the commodities she does business with, it called the souls of men. Is that true? Is that true? There's no time. You see, God, this time thing, I wish like, I feel like busy seeing this watch praise God <laughs> you just sing praise and worship and it's 10 o'clock <laughs> praise God Kai, this time is limited bear with us honestly these are not the kinds of things that you don't just come and share a message and it's boiling in my spirit because I want us to get it praise the Lord are you understanding my story all through scripture when you trace you will see that this spirit looks for women in every generation that will represent its operation and look for men that will compromise are you getting me that was where witchcraft and so on and so forth started and then all these things called divination and necromancers all of these things happened when Saul was king there's no time but I hope you read your Bible very well. You remember that? Remember when Saul was king? Saul dealt with diviners and necromancers. Is that true? He frustrated them so much. According to scripture, there was only one woman that was left. One sorcerer. One necromancer. And the Bible says a time came when Saul slept and he deviated. Alright? It didn't use that exact word. But I'm just using it. When Saul deviated from the things of God, he went to go and consult her. Is it in your Bible? And when she met him, he, he, he concealed himself. And she said, ah, don't disturb me. Saul, is, Saul has made life bad for us. No business in this city again. And he said, no problem. I vow I will not tell Saul. And he said, whose spirit should I invoke? I'm going to show you how men of God operate what you call the prophetic. That they invoke the spirit of the dead. Correct? It's happening in many churches somebody dies and they invoke the spirit of that dead person i want to show you how they use necromancy and when they do that they invoke that and the bible says she invoked in her vision she was seeing an old man coming and saul and saul told her, i said who do you, do you see him tell me about his appearance and saul from and samuel now seemingly from the vision told her the man that is standing with you is saul and she turned she said ah ah are you not Saul? He said, ah, sorry, it's true. I'm Saul. But call me the spirit of Samuel. You think that was Samuel? He looked like Samuel. Talked like Samuel. Where did these spirits come from? I want to show you. See, it didn't start with Africa. So don't let westernization tell you these things are unnecessary. They have been there in scripture. And if we don't gain knowledge of this truth, we will die like men. men. hallelujah help us lord diviners and different people let me tell you something that happened see most of these entities that you call 
how many of you have heard of demons being disembodied spirits have you heard that word disembodied spirits what does that mean that means that there are spirits that do not have a body to find expression is that true that means they are consistently under frustration jesus himself taught us that when that spirit leaves a man it becomes restless because they need material medium to communicate there is a law in the earth realm that if you do not have a body you cannot function here are you getting my point let me tell you how this demon started i hope we have time can i talk to you see the bible says listen demons are not the uh, they are not the only wicked entities in the satanic kingdom demons are just a class of wicked spirits there are others for instance principalities they are not demons are you getting me i have come to the end of myself take over jehovah i have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself listen i hope you believe what i'm telling you listen how many of you have seen certain people maybe those who do a lot of occultic things when they leave their body they make sure they close the room so that nobody comes to push their body you know why because they must return the same way they left if you shift their body they are not dead but the spirits cannot return to the body again are you understanding what i'm saying There are many spiritual entities like that in the spirit realm. Please listen to me. I want to tell you some things that will bless you. We said this is a year of light. This is solid meat. Light that keeps you in command. Dominion will happen naturally. You don't claim it. Light brings you into it. Are you getting my point? We are, we are demystifying this deity called Satan. Once and for all. So that you will know that the church will truly be a victorious church. Listen. Satan led these demon spirits. Are you getting, I mean angels now. Are you getting my point? Now this was what, because it is within the character of angels to translate themselves. Is that true? That means they can change state. There are different kinds of angels. Maybe when we deal with angels, we talk there is a northern army, there are different, there are messenger angels, there are cherubs, there are seraphs, there are different kinds of angels. Now, Satan led a campaign and told these guys, together with, I've, I've, I said it the last time, Apollyon, Leviathan, have you heard of all these spirits? They were real spirits, together. Satan didn't just do alone. It was supposed to be that he would spearhead the rebellion. And if it worked, it would be chop by chop. So all the demons that helped him, are you getting my point now? <laughs> when you read the book of Psalms and see the things that the psalmist began to speak, you will see that the spirit of revelation was upon him. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed? Can we continue? All right. Please make sure you are listening. This is not... Let me tell you something with revelation. If you get too used to it, the devil can use it and kill you. Are you getting my point? He won't kill you just by oppressing you. He will make you so puffed up. Revelation that should deliver you is not delivering you. But anybody who wants to talk to you, you will begin to break these scriptures. And say, let me give you a rundown of how everything started. And then it's not... Help. This is what is happening. So we must open up ourselves and please listen i'm serious and contend for change this is not to equip you to now run to your fellowship or your church and say for the next four months i have a message and this is what people do and then start running and say ah i must do this i must do this there are angels there's apollyon have you heard of him and they say wow from whence cometh this kind we have not seen it in this fashion the goal of revelation is not entertainment brothers and sisters 
is to equip you with light that dispels every darkness hallelujah now listen these angels translated themselves are you getting my point in the days of noah and they started having intercourse with women physical women that means you know that the child they will give birth to will not be pure human that's the origin of giants are you seeing that that's why the children that they had six fingers six to superhuman abilities can i surprise you that breed is still in the earth today this is what scientists saw that they called x-men what is x former what was the revelation behind their producing these films you were just watching and eating popcorn in cinema and nodding whereas this is a mystery they know a war is coming all of these scientific films keep telling you a war is coming and that battle is between mankind and another race this was the whole subject of lord of the rings and they had to consult other kingdoms and bring their kings together and it was a human I, one little boy called Frodo that carried the ring, a symbol of authority. All the other kingdoms backed him up. These things are spiritual messages. These scientists through, through zodiac and, and astrology and all kinds of divination, they can peep into spiritual things. It's not that they know the future. Are you getting me? How do I put it now? Help me. Look at me. How many of you know which countries are ahead of Nigeria time wise? What? What is UK? How can you say UK? Us, let's, let's just assume, please listen, we, are, we don't have time. Let's assume Australia. How many of you know that when Australia is saying 18th, we are still in 17th? So that ability to peep ahead, that's what happens in the realm of the spirit. Because of the regulation of times and seasons. Are you getting my point? It, this is what is adumbrated in geography that it is possible for one region to begin to access certain things before the other one it happens in the spirit too and this is the principle of divination help us so God Take me to the place, the place you are, that secret place. Take us, Lord. That's where I want to be. Take me to the place, the place you are. A secret, place. a secret place that's where i want to be that's where i want to be let's rush error number one i touched it in the realities of heaven and hell but i just feel like touching it again because the message didn't strike the chord the way i want so i want to touch on the issue again messages from hell divine realms that's number one error that needs to be L listen to me i don't know how many women have shaved their hair sold their cover shoes and did a lot of things because listen this is a very serious message right now certain people claim they went to heaven or went to hell listen i explain all these planes to you and you will see sense in what i'm saying now and they brought the core message in the body of christ now is not the bible again is who came with what from where are you getting my point these are the deceiving spirits and the doctrines of demons remember the bible says if god did not cut the time even we the elect can be deceived what kind of great deception can make people to see a lie and take it as true are you getting my point it must be a great deception so what is it the bible says or the people the story somebody just comes back oh i went to hell and then you print cds you print books now there are a few people who will trust their experiences very few as a matter of fact they were the initial people people like like um what's her name mary baxter and so on and so forth 
all these many things that they do now those people when they came back they even gave the cities free because of how much they wanted to be dissociated with this world huh but right now what we have is nonsense and there are many church pastors in an attempt to show piety and response to spiritual things this is the result of sleep they invite all these people these, these people and they come back uh, they come to pulpit and cry ah i went to hell i saw your mother i thought your mother died she gave me a message it's her name not jane you say yes my mother's name is jane i saw jane i saw jane she was crying in hell and she could talk crying have you have you seen a house catching fire have you seen the people inside listen please this is not criticism please i'm just addressing something this is the spirit of elijah are you get what i'm saying a lot of people came with revelations those of you inside outside if you are hearing me shout praise the lord listen these revelations are destroying churches right now destroying families are you getting my point people came ah you went to hell why did you go to hell your sketch didn't reach here why did you go to hell okay um this pastor you were supposed to drop five naira what where is the five naira that's where you are going somebody went to hell seemingly and brought back the list of the names of almost every man of god alive right now that they are sure candidates of hell this is somebody that got born again he was not up to three weeks and he seemingly went to hell i will show you the mystery of what is happening i wish we have time tonight i would have shown you something powerful It's the strategy of the devil the people are innocent are you getting my point don't be angry at the people they do not even know that they themselves are under deception paul says i was caught up to the third heaven that means there are other heavens there is the astral realm there are a lot of other realms there are galaxies all of these galaxies and planets i hope you know some of them have inhabitants this is the mystery of aliens this is the mystery of aliens there is a lot of story we don't know in the earth they just gave birth to you in the middle of history is what they taught you from social studies to what again social science history government and then you read political science or whatever it is and you believe you know the world no there is a lot more there is a lot more hallelujah there is a lot more there is a lot in this earth realm that we have there are portals in this realm there are many people you see in the earth realm that are not pure human beings they are moving like you they talk you've eaten with some of them in the restaurant they are not pure breeds these are agents of darkness preparing for the revival that is coming i read an article as far back as 19 i have the documentary as a matter of fact about people who went underground is that true they went underground and they saw a place designed by aliens that can see 20,000 people and there is an altar in the middle when you stand in that altar and talk they will hear you everywhere no mic verified scientifically don't you know there is a world under the earth Philippians chapter 2 that every knee is not just talking about hell alone What have they not told us brothers and sisters that is responsible i will show you how this applies so that you will see how your family got into it your innocent father from the village was just moving around nothing missing nothing broken he entered into what he didn't understand look at what a lot of believers are suffering it today and one of the error one of the error that i wanted to talk about is the negligence of spiritual laws many of us have listen listen and i don't say this to criticize there is an exaggeration 
of what we call the grace message i've said this thing again and again please don't be offended i'm just telling you the truth in love there is a jurisdiction to which when the grace message steps out it will be misleading there are people right now that they almost don't read the old testament you open they say what are you doing with the law i have a question what is law what really is law what is the cause of the law that christ redeemed us from is it ten commandments is it other mosaic laws or ten commandments plus them is it spiritual laws a lot of people speak and say ah oh, all of this law is gone there's nothing law nothing again but you believe in the law of sowing and reaping and you teach give and it will be given and a lot of people say even god cannot do anything so which part of the law has been abolished we'll talk about that in another teaching we have a lot of series this is a year of light we trust god to open our eyes not to go and start criticizing people but to be the light a reference the devil is in trouble this year there are things i will explain to you you will never be afraid of death again there are things i will explain to you you will know that even this mystery thing called deliverance you will understand who are these people that follow people quietly to church and come and sit down and later you say in the name of jesus and all of these kinds of things we will explain it when you understand this i'm telling you you will just start laughing you won't even pray let me tell you there are two ways to bind the devil one is prayer the other is revelation when authentic light enters you you grow out of some things at once deliverance is going on right now it's just that many people their concept of deliverance is ah you fall down say, i want to cough i want to no no it's not it, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do those things light is what drives away darkness permanently you see that's why if if i deliver dosing for instance I lay hands on her and she rose 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 and stands up listen and there is no light do you know why certain deliverances are so easy it's not because the man is powerful the demons are mocking the man he has no spiritual intelligence they just stroll out and allow him to go and he feels wow at once as soon as the person goes out they use anger or something and enter back together with the seven that they have gathered this is why you find out that there are many churches and men of god struggling with deliverance again because the whole service from morning till night is deliverance there is a balance he sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them but my only trouble is what people call word is not what god is calling word because their word is not healing their word is not delivering that means it's not the word look at me ella is a fair lady if i tell you ella is coming to see you expect a fair lady tying something in her head with with a ribbon or what is that thing you see that are you getting me if i suddenly decide to come am i ella if i tell you my name is ella this is how many people's revelation i'm sending the word it will do this right now it's not doing it and the bible says if it is the word some things should happen so if it's not happening it's not the word it may be scripture the word listen the word is not just this are you getting me because until the apostles came there was no manuscript but the people understood the word so what did they call their word what did they call their word of god he said ye are clean through the words that i've spoken to you that word can clean you that's what he's doing now So divine revelations let's just look at one scripture luke 16 let's settle this issue once and for all please can we look at just one scripture we may not be able to touch the honestly there are three issues i thought we'll be able to talk about okay we are there there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple royalty and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day 20 
and there was a certain beggar named Lazarus listen every time Jesus mentioned name it was not a parable necessarily it was a real experience you understand in Jesus' parables he described men by what they did not their names which was laid at his gate are you seeing the contrast now it says full of what source verse 21 and desiring to be fed with the crumbs so on and so forth 24 okay no 23 i saw something i'm looking for there ah we've gone far can we go to 22 let's start from there and it came to pass that who died that's lazarus right lazarus died and was carried by the angels to abraham's bosom that's another issue there hallelujah and the rich man also died and was buried so two of them died they've now left the earth let's see the drama that happened 23 and in hell so a definite place hell is that true he lifted up his eyes being in torment and seeth abraham afar off all right that's abraham's bosom and i'll tell you why and lazarus hey i had a revelation brothers and sisters that opened me up do you know that unlike the teachings we have been teaching that abraham could not give birth because he was impotent is not true abraham slept with hagar did she get pregnant what is the importance here about him this was simple logic I said come on. Ah, is this not the abraham we are saying it is the deadness of his body and this this guy slept with with uh, hagar and hagar was strategically positioned by satan in that place see when i show you these things and as we explore you will see ah, may god help and redefine our christianity you will see that jacob was not a thief jacob was replacing what happened between isaac and ishmael you see that that thing that looked like <laughs> that's why it's not called god of abraham isaac and esau it's called god of Ab Din is god blind didn't he see esau it's called god of abraham isaac and in hell he lifted up his eyes being in torment and seeth abraham afar off and lazarus in his bosom so it was in abraham's bosom all right 20 and he cried and said this is the man now in hell father abraham have mercy on me and send lazarus that he may dip the thing dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for i am tormented in this flame um that flame is not just fire like you know because i hope you know their physical bodies are in the earth here so what kind of fire will torture their spirit body it's not just the kind of your fire here spirits can walk through this fire are you getting me this is a strange kind of fire it's a fire that causes thirst when it destroys you it not only are you going through pain but it makes sure that there is thirst it can absorb every Thing and cause you with the feeling of thirst and it's very frustrating look at this guy he didn't say let him send um something to quench the fire he was asking for a drop of water and abraham said son remember in your lifetime you received good things this guy received evil but now he's comforted and thou art tormented 26 now divine revelation please listen and beside this there is a gulf between all so that they cannot pass here and there and there we'll talk about this another time hades abraham's bosom and so on and so forth 27 then he said listen i pray thee therefore father that that would they send him back to the earth are you seeing now send him back to the earth to my father's house so let's see see let's walk with what the bible says is that true do you believe the word of god you believe is the final authority and you believe is a more sure word of prophecy so let's examine the word of god 28 for i have five brethren that he may testify unto them lest they also come into the place of torment so what was his request please come back to the earth 
with divine revelation abi go to my family and tell them ah i just came back from hell if they hear you their hearts will melt and they'll change i don't want them to come here 29 what happened abraham said they have moses and the prophets let them hear them in other words it is not god's original strategy to bring people back from the world of the dead to come and bring revelation to the inhabitants of the earth abraham was saying listen this is not a normal route of god's dealings with people to make them grow are you getting what i'm saying abraham said they have moses the law and the prophets they have they have preachers already they should listen to them verse 30 and he said nay father abraham but if one went on to them from the, from the dead he said what they will repent is that true 31 and he said unto them if they hear not moses and the prophets neither will they be persuaded though one rose from the dead listen so these teachings of people going and coming say they went to the dead and they came back with messages and they saw this and that and that the bible tells us the living and the dead have no relationship is it in your bible is it in your bible that there is something that separates the living and the dead it is appointed unto man to die once and after that the judgment i believe in the resurrection are you getting what i'm saying but by divination people's spirits have been invoked and a lot of things have happened can i tell you many of these places these people went to were certain realms in the spirit they had never been there please get what i'm saying some of these beings they encountered were not jesus christ they encountered spirits if you see a spirit in the realm of the spirit you will still need spiritual intelligence to relate with them because satan can appear as an angel of light jesus said it when he sent the 70 when they returned he said i've seen satan's next strategy the next strategy is not to be a demon again he has translated himself as an angel of light and he's now going to go to pulpits as angel of light he was revealing to them a strategy he wasn't just telling them that satan has just fallen like that mm -mm. hallelujah satan saw that jesus could give his authority to men and they could legislate on his behalf it gives satan an idea of the next strategy he said why not i translate myself and come as an angel of light wear suit and start gathering these people rather than killing them let me use them so jesus began to tell the disciples i'm praying for you immediately i've seen something that will happen satan has now changed his state to become an angel of light and he's moving around as elders in churches moving around as overseers moving around as different things and recruiting men who are entering deception and delusion without knowing but we are this army that god is granting us light alongside many other remnants across the surface of the earth and we are the ones who will break the hold of darkness in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me show you one more scripture these are the scriptures that talk about out of body experiences paul now the apostle himself second corinthians chapter 12 please let's rush one error we have to kick out of the body of christ the messages the people bring notice listen the bible says you shall know a tree by what is fruit that's whatever proceeds from that tree is that not true that means like who who said it uh, i think it was mike that said everything god creates he leaves an imprint of himself if god gives you a word and is from him there will be something about his karagma on that word how many people tell me the truth have been comforted by the recent divine revelation teachings how many that you know there are so many people who have gotten into religiosity people locked up their businesses people packed out of school other people went somewhere people just killed a lot of things fashion designers stopped their businesses they are broke now they are suffering because they told them that anything anything at all oh if you see we've it came from the 
the marine power if you understand satan you know that he does not have the power of creation he has an ability to mimic and corrupt that which is created are you getting my point now I, I, you can everybody has his personal belief and all of that i'm not but i'm just saying the reasons people are giving there is only one reason why people are in hell rejecting the gift of salvation that jesus brings are you getting my point oh a man of god did this this water was for bishop and he quickly drank it and when he was going out car hit him and he found himself that means all of us are going to hell you see that is killing what the bible calls the assurance of salvation so many people even preachers they don't know again whether they are saved or not hallelujah many people don't know whether they are saved or not and now the only way because that's the next thing i wanted to talk about is the false presentation of the gospel of holiness because there is the authentic gospel of holiness i tell you this one may is probably one of the biggest disasters that has happened to the church what has been taught to be the gospel of holiness is not what jesus taught are you getting my point now because a lot of people believe they are going to go to heaven based on the things that they have kept and avoided or done this and that no sir hallelujah you have no right to take a revelation and begin to yoke it on people based on your perception of truth you see let me tell you something the army that God is raising is an army that must remain as students. We must create a posture that shows that we are students such that you are not ashamed to confront the revelations you have held as authentic when you see a higher light. We must have that humility. There's nothing embarrassing to accept that, look, I may not have seen it in this light. I was blind, but now I see. The Bible talks about a man called Apollos. He was a learned man in Acts 18. The last few verses. And the Bible says, but he knew only the baptism of John. Is that true? And then Aquila and Priscilla came. They called him and they expounded to him more perfectly. And he was humble enough to receive. And then he now went to the temple and began to debate and argue intelligently. There are lots of people in the body of Christ who are under bondage. Terrible bondage. That innocently came, but is a product of the spirit of deception. For instance, there are many people who believe that if I, let me use a lady, come. If I give this lady a hug more, ah, this, this may be a problem. I've done something I've compromised it can cost me my salvation and so because I have to shift to that religious mold listen please I'm not criticizing any any church are you following me now this is an apostolic teaching it's a teaching to the body of Christ salvation is personal your dealings with God is personal and it's time for us to kick the walls that are stopping us from entering the authentic experience of the kingdom because of this right now the guy can sit down he does not yet have the ability to conquer lust but religious mold has made him to know or to feel that okay you must confirm and then people are looking at him and he looks like a sanctimonious brother whereas he's dying with masturbation because that's the only thing he can do and the devil says this is exactly what i want and then he uses it to bring condemnation and the guy gets up and before men he's wonderful and he's struggling and the sister is struggling and they go back and keep doing it there are all kinds of atrocities happening in our churches pastors sleeping with members many things are happening everybody carries a nice cloth and we come and hide under this demon called religion hallelujah that does not mean we'll be lawless this is the balance again because 
some other people in an attempt to address this just like me they tell people okay fine don't be religious don't do this dress anyhow do what you want to do say anything so you can be in the church i can be preaching and a lady can just come and i'll just hold her give her a nice peg and say sweet how you look sweet and you sit down those garbages will be part of what will exit out of the body of christ there is a lot of another dimension of imbalance are you getting my point now we have all kinds of carelessness i believe that these things are not the things that determine salvation but then there, there are some things that just don't make sense a man of god comes hanging all kinds of chains around him with all kinds of rings tearing his jeans sagging them i mean i'm not talking of a guest some a little youth meeting or boot camp this is the, the, the default he's the overseer of the ministry he comes with his glasses comes and all that is nonsense it's a spirit of seduction hallelujah a woman comes on stage and she's preaching half of the message the brothers are not following their minds are they are just struggling lord i will make heaven i need to grow this is another balance so let me balance it very quickly because there are a group of immature revivalists arising in their bid to contend these things in the flesh i just telling people be as lawless as you can be that's a sign that we're out of the law there is a balance we're a disciplined army we are not idiots liberty is not rebellion hallelujah thank you jesus second corinthians 12 from verse 3 to 4 did i say from verse 3 to 4 verse 3 and i knew such a man paul speaking listen please whether in the body or out of the body i cannot tell god knew it for how that he was caught up into paradise and had what unspeakable words which are not lawful for men to what is that in your bible that means all these ones that people go have you not seen that many times when the apostles see revelation he tells them seal this is for an appointed time but now people come back with every message this is deception are you getting my point now there are a few people however who we have judged their revelations based on the integrity of god's word and we have found that their messages have brought healing and hope to the body of christ for such kind of people we commend them and we endorse them but even at that point their word does not become the final the final uh, what do we call it now this thing that they yardstick i cannot begin to run my ministry after mary baxter's vision are you getting my point i've had a lot of visions i live in the realm of visions i can never run ministry just based on visions ask the leaders every time i see anything no matter how authentic the experience is the word of god must prove it not confirm it prove it prove it the bible didn't say confirm all things it said prove all things if you are looking for confirmation you will find it you will find a scripture that endorses a man sleeping with a woman although they are not married it's in the bible the bible is a prophetic book you can make it speak any language you want the bible did not say use the bible just to confirm things prove it test the spirit behind it everybody now is looking for confirmation so we get the revelation from all kinds of realms that's the reason why you go to native doctors and the rest you see bibles there because since it's bible you want they keep it there for you when it's time to do the spell they say lay your hands on the bible and swear that you will be faithful and you swear but they'll still do their demonic things and you will be convinced that because there was a bible there it was god because of this deception you don't use the bible for confirmation the bible proves all things yet nothing proves it 
when i talk of bible i'm not just talking about the error of men i'm talking about the edited spirit word that is given hallelujah what do i talk about again i want to show you something one other error in the body of christ is neglecting the reality of spiritual laws i said it everybody say it after me both inside and outside spiritual laws abound they exist they are real as real as physical laws look at me do you know why god did not kill cain when he sinned because he knew that there were spiritual laws at work are you getting my point and those laws will catch up with him are you following me now when you violate certain things and some things happen to you it's not like god brought it there are laws are you getting my point jump from this building now praying in tongues as you are jumping for no reason it's not like they tell you to destroy you that you expect you expect the hand of god just jump from it what do you think will happen to you because of the existence of a law now watch this regardless of that law a plane still moves is that true does the movement of the plane stop the fact that there is that law it means it's operating by another law that shields it are you getting what i'm saying curses are real yokes are real manifestations of witchcraft in lives and families are real they are very real listen these are spiritual laws what light does for us is to tap into what christ has done and exempt ourselves are you getting me let's look at one scripture and then we'll pray that does it for today just one scripture i want to show you a scripture psalm 64 let's trace these activities of those we call familiar spirits every time i teach it's always in my culture to try to bring balance there is a lot of junk about deliverance demonology and so on and so forth however i believe that there is an accurate perspective that we can look at to gain understanding hear my voice oh god this was the psalmist praying by revelation preserve my life from the fear of the enemy too hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity verse 3 hmm. who wet their tongue like a sword that means these guys speak certain things and bend their bows to shoot their arrows even bitter words verse 4 he said that they may shoot in secret at the perfect suddenly they do shoot at him and fear not verse 5 he says they encourage themselves in an evil matter they come they commune of lyingness privately they say who shall see them six they do what they sat out who are these people that search out they go to an extent where did they write it that they go back to archives and search out iniquities of families are you following me now this is in your bible they search out iniquities he said they accomplish a what diligent search they are meticulous when god opened my eyes to this it surprised me are you getting my point now have you read that word blotting out every handwriting so there are handwritings correct there are ordinances the bible says they search out iniquities hallelujah maybe at another time i will continue this teaching of these angels that i told you because when they fell listen they wanted to translate themselves back to the angelic state 
they did not know that God had the power to stop them. So in an attempt to translate themselves back, they were stopped. They are the ones who have become demons today. Are you getting me? So they need material bodies to find expression. This is the basis of traditionalists. This is the basis of a lot of things that we celebrate in the rampant outbreak of the prophetic that we call word of knowledge. You see it? They search out. I'm not saying everything is corrupt. Are you getting my point now? But I'm telling you that many of these things. Otherwise, how can a herbalist look at you? How many of you have seen these guys that scam and swindle people in a car? And sometimes they will give you an, they will take you to one baba, right? And give you an accurate word of knowledge. How did they know? Because they don't have the Holy Spirit. So there must be some spiritual system. Hmm. They search out iniquities. It is on the basis of this search that Lucifer, Satan, the accuser of the brethren. Are you getting me now? Based on these findings, this is what he reports. And he says, God, according to your justice, this is what has happened. That means there is a law that should follow this family. Are you getting my point? And suddenly you find out women are not getting married. People are not getting married. Things are not working. Nothing is working. Anybody comes to you for a relationship, what will happen to him in two weeks? Nobody will tell him. He will pack his load by himself and go. And you are wondering what in the world is going on. Listen, listen. It is demonic. Many of us and our loved ones are victims of these things. But they've told you, hallelujah, just believe. It's not there again. You say it's not there again. You went back. It's still there. This thing is following you. You see patterns. I told you this thing. Satan wants transgenerational allegiance. many students you are very brilliant like exam right now you go to the class and you find out that you black out in all sincerity other people think you are lazy you know you are not lazy there is a puzzle somewhere you are trying to understand now you come to the ministers and they tell you did you read yes they say all right i speak over you it is well and demons just mock the men of god and say look at how shallow and the student goes back and gets the same kind of tragedy but when there is light darkness must bow this is the reason why you are hearing testimonies of sudden admissions sudden this and that see brothers and sisters i taught you that every time you speak the realm of the spirit will check what revelation you are standing on are you seeing why some people's words are not powerful because when you speak the devil knows you don't even know what you are saying you are just carrying the delusion of faith and you're just saying i speak leave this family now based on what what is the spiritual intelligence that sponsors that statement when you have it there is light in your spirit and it is that light that will force that dimension of darkness that's why sometimes you can see as we are teaching the power of god just breaks out and demons are living or maybe during the miracle service these things are not magic it's a product of light are you getting my point as you're sitting under this teaching now a lot of things are suddenly coming in your mind are you getting me now it's now making sense to you why your father was walking although an elder in church he grew to a certain height and he fell and that's exactly what has been happening he went for deliverance and fell down he got up and the same thing has happened with that it has even gotten worse have you seen people who come and receive some miracles and go back and their families become worse it's a spiritual blackmail to discredit the ministry of the men of God so that they will say they got powers from darkness. Not everybody got power from that. Are you getting my point now? You see how complicated the body of Christ is at this point. That's why we need accuracy. Please don't miss the meetings because there is a, there is a construction 
there is a, we want to go back to this foundation what is responsible for the darkness in our lives nothing just happens brothers and sisters as you're seated right now you know that this word you are hearing is the deliverance of your family this word you are hearing some of us who are parents here and are seated we know that this is the puzzle behind the things that are happening hallelujah but it will take light brothers and sisters it takes spiritual intelligence during the monday counseling i was ministering to a lady and as soon as she came and i casted out the spirit and at once the lady just lay down and the lord opened my eyes at once and i saw the spirit in the realm of the spirit it was laughing and i said the lord rebuke you the protocol were here and the, the lady jacked back up somebody would have said thank you jesus and he just get up say, ah, that's it and the demons would say kai men of god of these days they are not powerful at all say after me the light of god is upon me taking away every darkness and by the power of the holy spirit i become an agent of healing prosperity deliverance and grace to all around me and my family members hallelujah this is what is responsible for many things in our families this is why you find out that certain tribes and certain geographical places are prone to certain attitudes we say these things do not happen but we are seeing it there is a spirit upon the continent of africa that is responsible for what is happening hallelujah you see people come from certain places you see people come from plateau state you see people come from kaduna state from kogi state from lagos from the river and areas you see patterns that are happening yet we say oh it, there's there's nothing wrong i'm okay just declare that i'm okay and you say i'm okay and the demons say i'm fine too i'm fine with you i like this revelation you're having i'm fine with it but when light strikes see there are many of you based on this revelation you will start calling home and your parents will start telling you what is this dream that i'm having what is, you will see that there are shiftings know that is a response to what is happening it's already happening in some families right now you are seeing it you something you just know you can't explain but you know that certain foundations these demon spirits are saying who is this who is this this is le a level of light that is notable and they they begin to walk but you see light does not beg darkness authentic light comes and comes to conquer hallelujah this is the mystery behind this healing of hiv and all of these things you are seeing when you understand them no man of god will boast and brag in himself because in all sincerity when you know this it's just a proper application of spiritual intelligence hallelujah it's like clapping for yourself because you took your bath you say what i'm so impressed that i can bath what is special about that you can clap for a baby because you say this is amazing ah you bath yourself the child will say yes say clap for yourself and he claps now imagine that Sam comes to see me and I just said I, I finished Bapi and Sam will say boy am I impressed a time will come what we celebrate as power will take another dimension what men of God have camped around it will be ordinary people who will be doing it because of the higher dimensions of grace are you getting me time for miracle service we'll just say you go and bring those who you heal, delivered, prayed for, and come. We testify together and receive greater grace. Do you know the training you are receiving now is such that it puts you to work immediately? And your Jerusalem is your family. Anyone who is not concerned about his family is, is a sign that something is wrong with you. 
bishop a pretty lady with nobody to marry her getting into the 40s nobody to marry her people say it's just like that the ratio of men to women is so on and so forth what is all that but when you sustain spiritual intelligence you can say light be and it will become hallelujah praise the lord rise up on your feet let's pray i want us to take some time please pray as you pray tonight certain things will begin to happen in your life please everybody participate in the prayer as you pray tonight something will begin to happen in your families you will begin to feel the spiritual shift the devil must give up on you this year and your family members hold hands together and begin to pray in tongues please instrumentalists help us hold hands together and just begin to pray in tongues please pray seriously prayer is a spiritual law it has nothing to do with convenience you're not filled with the holy ghost as we pray let the power of god come upon you that you begin to utter those mysteries please pray Rekete koto prakata balabara, mabroso to presko sekete lekete koto balaraba. You will contend until victory comes. You will contend. Rekete kete. Outside, make sure you are praying. Outside, make sure you are praying. Rekoto prakete leba kapata kata prakata balaraba bash. Rekoto broska pakata, pakata prakata leka, maka brosko prende kozema. Every second ele boko shobre gele balaraba. Mabra tosko pa indekea, ebresko prakete leko tos, maka prakata leko tos gele balaraba. Meke broske taliaba. Arise, arise, by light, by revelation, arise. Shake up darkness. Shake up darkness. Reketeko reketeleketeka. Pray and say I'm changing. I'm changing. My status is changing. Reketekeleba. There's no more decline. I'm on my way to better days. To the life God designed for me. Hallelujah. The answer to the tragedy of my family is already unfolding this age long puzzle is opening come on pray in the spirit activate breakthroughs in the spirit you are praying out of the depth of revelation Rekete kete kete prakata baladadaba, mam prakata prakasha kete, rekata prakata baladabash, rapoko sote kete, rekete kebo shapari yama, mam prakete lebo koso prakete bosh. Please no looking at one another. Pray, pray, pray. Reke bosh ko prakoto baladaba. Your flesh may be weak, but pray is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Prayer is a sacrifice. It's not about convenience. It's about the higher revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. You are going to pray. Hallelujah. And you are going to say, Lord, I dispel darkness out of my life. Are you hearing me? 
you're going to say lord by the light whatever represents darkness in my life it bows tonight lift your voice and pray it could be sickness in your body it could be a yoke of bondage satan is only as powerful as the darkness in us permit him pray let light shine god who had commanded light to shine out of darkness had shined in our hearts to grant unto us the knowledge of the glory of god as seen on the face of jesus let there be light let there be light let there be light let there be light prophesy light light to my family light prophesy light to your exams light to your academics the powers that be they must bow tonight by the force of revelation man shall not live by bread alone man shall live by every revelation revelation brings life it brings light it brings power pray babylon is falling that corrupt system that secrecy of evil that genetic code of wickedness that is responsible for the life that people are living the wickedness the pain cause that system that that one must fall by a road of a higher priesthood this is not the ironic priesthood our confidence is tied to a higher priesthood after the order of melchizedek is a priesthood of glory is a priesthood of power hallelujah hallelujah was he praying you're going to mention every area of your life one by one and you're going to say lord the chains they are broken tonight why we sing play that song break every chain many of you will be surprised at the testimonies you will have these are not testimonies that are happening by mistake you know how they are happening so you can reproduce it in the life of others lift your voice chains i prophesy be broken chains of delay chains of delay chains of barrenness chains of fear chains of failure let the glory of the lord arise let the glory of the lord arise chains chains of pornography chains of masturbation chains of wickedness chains of sickness chains of joblessness chains of failure Chains of witchcraft Break every chain By the power of the blood of Jesus Break every chain We contend By revelation We storm the gates of hell We storm the gates of hell By the power of light We storm Babylon We prophesy your doom In our lives Babylon the great Falling Babylon the great Falling Hallelujah Two quick prayer points Hallelujah Hallelujah Praise the Lord Please pair yourselves into two The Bible says if any two shall agree as touching anything you are going to pray for your families right now this year we must carry our family members along listen listen pharaoh said i will let you go but leave the children and the animals moses said no way 
we are going together i can't go and allow my sister who will save them you can't go and let your loved ones die like that are you getting my point that prophetic light will shine until every member of your family is part of this you're going to pray confront every darkness in your family you know the darkness lift your voice and pray the darkness of witchcraft and culture i contend come on pray there's no pretense in this place pray our family members have suffered this cycle of failure by the power of the holy ghost we confront you knowing that we have authority of evil we expose the doers of iniquity we expose the spirit of death the spirit of failure that invisible manifestation of darkness that is responsible for death for barrenness for miscarriages for failure pray that limitation of poverty confront poverty that spirit that yoke that devilish device that has been projected to your family that is responsible for your financial tragedy confront it it must bow to the power of light for the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend prophesy a recovery prophesy a recovery i call back opportunities for my family i call back i call back their spiritual sovereignty i call back their finances i call back the joy hallelujah one more prayer point and we're done hallelujah hallelujah we're going to pray for koinonia we're going to say lord let your light shine people must be liberated are you hearing me let me tell you something listen hear me inside and outside every one of you who comes for this meeting your coming alone is a miracle are you hearing me if you know the powers of darkness that if they had their way would stop you from hearing what you are hearing Ask the people that come for counseling. 90% of them tell you the morning for counseling, something stops them. Or an accident and they almost capsize. The devil hates light. He loves argument. He loves religion. But this year, we are storming the gates of hell. Are you getting my point? A fearless generation. There are things that must be recovered. There is a destiny, the soul of the nation that we must recover. But it must start from us and our families. This is why we invest time to pray. We know the kind of ministry God has given us. That's why we pray. Are you getting my point? That's why we have a strong and healthy prayer department. We are not carried away by success. We are not carried away by crowd. We are not carried away by rema. Listen. When God commits to you, the transformation of the destinies of men, you must take it seriously. We are going to pray for koinonia. We are going to say, light, shine. Shine! Let the works of evil be exposed. Let believers be empowered by the light of God's word. Let this place remain Bethel, the place of bread place of light we will pay the price whatever it takes to access the depths of the spirit we will pay the price we will pay the 
a price for the sake of destinies. Pray. Our heavens remain open in the name of Jesus. This remains a place of breakthrough, a place of signs, wonders, deep mysteries of the kingdom. Our messages go far. They cause me five hours in campuses, in families, in cities. Let the angel of the Lord that goes with our messages, we command that the angels of God arise for our sake. Hallelujah. Hey. Lift your hands. I just want you to focus on the screen. Those of you outside, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again. No power will hide right now. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Hey. Come out. Come out of them. Devils. Yokes. Bondages. By the fire. Shake it. Take 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 it. Please help the ushers if they need help. Help the ushers if they need help. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And miracles everywhere. I say right now. And right now. Miracles. The power of God will move mightily inside this place right now and shake foundations. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. As you shout that name, Jesus. No instruments. At the count of three, no instruments. Just shout that name, Jesus. And the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Jesus. The fire of God is coming down right now. Mightily. Shekete. Mekoto Sota. Bring them out. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Ma prateko sopai empreto stipali ala baba 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 Sese kete baba 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 Se proto sopre kete bala raba Hallelujah This roll lift your hands 
the angel of the Lord is standing in this room. I pray right now, every activity of witchcraft, according to what the Lord is showing me, those in this room, right now, in the name of Jesus, I want you to shout, Jesus, right now. One, two, go. Let it be shaken, oh God. Now, 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 Outside, lift your hands. No devil will escape tonight. Outside, at the top of your voice, after the count of three, many of you will feel fire as if it's just poured on you. My God, let no spirit, let no spirit remain right now. One, two, three. All those that have come out Those in front here As a point of contact To those who are there by the blood, I bring a separation. I bring a separation by the blood now. Now, 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 now. I bring a separation by the blood. The mystery of 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 the blood. mystery of the blood. Bring the lady. 
Reshekete bakata gata bakata Zeko pakata barianda susakata Arasheru zakarota hate Hapekete bokoto payata la Hapekete bokoto Paria shakarota hapata Iya ya ya Barota pekete pedelebo ya Eye ye Eye ye Eye ye Hapekete bokoto Bring her here. Parianda Aro shakata, zeko taboba, po pali atosa, aro shi akatuka, po pale, po pale, sori ato, akata plaki patapata, shuate bria, shuate bria, shuate bria, shuate bria, shuate bria, shuate bria, are ju shakaria te yata, te yata. Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the lady. Bring her. Where the light shines in the darkness. Let her go now. You know my voice. Out. Now, leave her. Out. Never return. Now all the devils here At the count of three Your exit comes You hear my voice I speak to you from the realm of the spirit One, two Go, go, go Go, go, go Out, out Out, out You must go By the power of the Holy Ghost Go, 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 be free, I set you free, let her go now leave this little girl out devil of darkness out come out of her now come out of her come out 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 Marital delay. Give me a hand. With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. Go. Out of her. Now. 
Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take over. Out, Porsche. Come out now. Porsche. In the name of Jesus Christ. The serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. Listen, some of you are not out here, but there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay, it will die now at once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. All right, then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I challenge you. Zetekete palakata prakotosu ba kotaga da nembrendi zilekata reto shikata garado siza. Something will leave you right now. Lekota ba. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marital delay. Shila. Go. Bo shipra kita kito da yada. Never to return. Lay your hands on your stomach. It will never say you have a fibroid. I caused that spirit. It's a family thing. Hold her. This is a family thing. May they be free, O God. Bring salvation to this family right now. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. Just clear the way for them. Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. Let her go. Together with the delay. Zego Panada Garanda Shia Kataga do Siza Lagataga Branda Sila Barando Jigli. Listen, lift your hands, everybody. Outside, lift your hands. I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay. Sakataya Mandeka, Sete Laman Paria, you can move forward because something is tying you down right now in the name that is above every other name every delay in this place at the count of three i command the devils be gone right now 
One, two, three, go, 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 go. I postulate. I postulate. I postulate. I postulate. I postulate. I I postulate. I I How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? to see back at the years. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into lo any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is... This is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? From Edo. Edo State. Yes, sir. Hold my hands. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now hold on. Why are you? I want to. It's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me, and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when find myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that, that witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Light is shining. Madam, look at me. In the darkness. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of it. Eh? Is you are the one that brought her. Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain. At, used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at you came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. I was already healed. Yeah. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. They yeah, be calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. 
but there's battle. I always complain, why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything we touch with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money, I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook? And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image. He was just saying different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm the king. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? No, she's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. What do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? Into any university. Have you written jam? No, not You are yet. writing next week. Yes. Hold my hands. My God. In the name that is above all names. We give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar, bigger than any senate. You will come back and stand right here and testify. You have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, no power will stop you. I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam, whether for you or for your loved ones. I tell you the truth and I lie not. See, listen. Prophecy. Kaya, yaya. Reketera, mambre, tetekete, balakata, rotosepa. Every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names, receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive your admission. Hey. Where, listen, whether you know what you are writing or not, may my God hold your hands. That oh. hand, the Lord, oh. Nene, Nene, hey. the man who says it, if I be a servant of God, may my God hold your hand. Listen. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Zigo paradia sacranda baliketi subalutikana. Likoto pradia saganda ria tagadabaya. Parada shia makrodi siza la paradiata. Zigo shila. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me. No. Shila. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Out! You are a wicked spirit by the power of the blood. Go now. Don't waste our time here. Now. Thank you, Jesus. Be thou and throne on high and throne on high and throne. Help me worship us. Be thou and
marriage marriage we are going to visit the issue of marriage right now please i want you to listen i'm just flowing as the holy ghost is giving me grace sister look at me just look at my eyes you must release her right now it's time for you to go out you go now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I set you free let it leave you now let it leave you now Please, whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. And all I want you to do is just to shout amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name that is above every other name. In the name that is above all names, I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please get said, something mighty will happen in this place now. Every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of Elohim right now, as you shout Jesus, they will depart from you now. One, two, go. Every marital delay. Go, 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 go. Let marriage spirit us back out in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you. May your life partner come into your life. I prophesy. I call for your life partner. Supernatural marriage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A lady has been healed of chest condition outside. Check yourself and run out here. Check. It looks like ulcer. You just feel something leave you. Please check and run quickly. Quickly. Come and let God seal your miracle. The Lord just ministered to me. Please check, check. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus. God has healed a lady. A lady. Is that the lady? another one come come you've been healed when God speaks to one he speaks to many look at just one prophetic word give them the mic is he working what happened to you just tell us quickly okay, I just felt a pain leave my chest. you felt something leave you yeah. do what you couldn't do before I felt pain in my chest. completely hold my hands never returns in the name of Jesus Christ let her go forever come what happened to you now I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How not, long? For I've how been long? I've drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs? Yes. Uh -huh. The drugs is even in my bag right now. The drugs, you go and yes. bring it. 
Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names. Hold the drugs. Just hold it. Hold it. Look at me. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfecting her. She will not need these drugs again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Check yourself. God is healing more people with this kind of pain. If it's happening to you, come out right now. Come out. God is healing people. All stars. All stars are going right now. Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For the I've past been, two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Anytime okay. I try to breathe, it will hold it. Will when you try me. to breathe, it will hold you. It will hook me. Uh huh. Sometimes I'll be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over. But I've been going to hospital to collect drugs. But I told my mom I couldn't, I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that we should check. And when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me. And now I'm healed. Breathe. Do breathe in. Deep. Any pain? No, any sir. pain? No, sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. All right. I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six, six months. months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Since 2006. Yes, and recently. Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure, confirmed. Yes. Okay. And last week, the thing started coming back again, and the pain was so severe. At times, it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we we're outside and we shouted, Jesus, I felt. You felt something. Yes. That so wicked said, thing that has sat there, it must pack its load and leave this night. I felt. Hold my hand. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. Lay your hands. Please believe. Thank you, Jesus. when I pray for you check yourself and if you see a miracle run out here even if you see that it has started please don't tell lies we are not playing gimmicks here some of you think it's an eye problem but it's a demonic thing I'm about to command it to leave you thank you Jesus even itching in the eyes will leave thank you Jesus now I command Eyes be healed, be healed now, be healed, be healed. Every blind eye open, every blind eye open, partial blindness be gone in the name of Jesus. Long sightedness, short sightedness, glaucoma, every eye condition be healed now. Please be checking yourselves. Check yourselves. God is doing miracles now. Check yourself. If you have any growth in your body, please check yourself. As you see God touching you, come out. You, I tell you, God is healing people. If there is any growth in any part of your body, what's wrong with him? Eye problem. Bring him. God is healing people. Look at, look at a miracle. Look at a big miracle. Look at Look at this, look at this. Look at what is happening to these people. Look at, eyes are opening. Come on, give Jesus praise. Eyes are opening. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Every kind of eye condition. Hallelujah. We'll take the testimony. Check yourself. Don't let the devil stop you. What's, his, what's the problem with him? Look at this. He can't. Eh? 
Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. What is wrong with him? This. I can see. Completely. Yes. Who brought him here? His mom. We came together. With him. Mama. Okay, I'm going to pray for him. As I pray for him, keep testing him. When he can see you, just try him out. The Lord will heal him. Lay your hands on your. No, no. Let, let him lay his hands on you. Lay your hands by yourself on your eyes. I command new eyes by the power of the Christ. How long has this been? Does she speak English? One year, two months. One year, two months. Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he could not cure me, that she go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankwa Kata local government. So I had you, this You came program. all the way from Zankwa? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Jesus, heal these eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. I command these eyes to open right now. Open right now. Please check him. Test him. See, test him. Test him. Just test him if you've seen anything. Can you say, don't be afraid. This is a factory. Just test him. Sister, stand up. What is it? Eh? You saw light. What are you seeing? Oh my God. Look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged. Huh? What, can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light. I saw and it went you saw off. light? Yeah, when you just finished praying. So I just opened my eye, then he went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up, all right? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light. You see the same light again? Yes, a sharp light. You've been in using my, glasses? I've been using glasses over two and a Who half Who knows her? Now. Who knows her? Ah, okay, you all know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now. Roommate, when we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her? So that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this? Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in my eyes. A sharp I, light. I, I fell down. And then you fell under yes. the anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. Tears will just start falling off my eyes. Each until you use glasses. Yes, until Give I us use something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are those small, small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine. For the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, give Jesus praise. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And right now, miracles everywhere. Healed? Who yes. brought this boy? Okay. Uh, How are you? Fine, sir. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone. Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay. What happened to you? As Please as make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside. Okay. Something entered me. So as as I fell down and I come here, now. I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then can't later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving, and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! 
Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. <laughs> you mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? Is he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. What was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to eat you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? Yes. To the shame of the devil. <laughs> Father, let this be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else? Please. Only eye conditions. Okay. First God, I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor. Because I didn't want to use them, but there something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over. When you were standing there, who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I. And it's gone. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is perfected, never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this. I don't know. Every time I read, I skip the word, or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word like when I start reading I just skip the word or I just go blank I don't know what happens to me what and today go yeah, or something? today I was in class and my I was, we were reading my friend was not asking me what's wrong with me I'm reading the word I'm mixing the word I'm like it started since this year and she's like okay that I need glasses I'm like I don't need glasses oh when you are reading yes the, you will be skipping yes, the words I'll, skip the word, I'll go blank and I don't know why what happened to you now? When we were praying, I laid my hands on my and my hands on my eye, and then a light just just hit me, and my hands touched. Light shaking, again, you see the and light. Then my eyes got very hot, and then your I eyes felt got hot. Open, yes, and you felt it open. open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. Read Isaiah fifty-one, just verse one and two. Let's see. Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord. Look unto the rock whence ye are hen, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed him, and blessed him, and, I and increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns in Jesus' name. You too? Yeah. Come. It, okay. It started 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it, I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness so in your I eyes? So when I went to Chica, they told me it's pterygium. That is it's mostly what? pterygium. That is, I'm not supposed to survive. It. That is, um, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went... I went and got right now. So, but while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely. Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely. Yeah. May it be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? Yeah. What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own? My sister brought you. Oh, your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? Your eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? What happened? When, when I was praying, I put my eye. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh huh. I, I saw that the thing have gone. Completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, my eyes sometimes just to pain. So, uh, me and my mother we went to sick bay. They said that I needed glasses. Okay. But since that day, my mother and I never went. So sometimes I'll, my eye will, will be itching me. I'll okay. like start, start feeling sleepy. But now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while the worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship, I want you to line up all the sick people, especially. If you came here from outside Zaria, please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to he to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. 
Line them up very quickly, please. Help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. Please, let's save time inside and outside. If you are sick, whether you are outside Zaria or not, just come. Please, come out. Now is the time for you to be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Those of us who are seated, begin to pray in tongues, please. My Don't be distracted. God is awesome. He can move that mountain of sickness will be moved right now. Whatever it is. Please keep coming quickly. Come and line, line yourself. As you come, just be praying and say, Lord, this is it. I am parting with this sickness. Hide me from the rain. Say, My God, heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever He will reign. My God is. check yourself begin to check yourself let's pace them very quickly hallelujah as i pray for you please i want you to believe i already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands and as i pray for you you'll be healed you'll be delivered no matter what it is please don't go back the same you don't have to go back the same you do not have to go back the same no matter what the issue is i want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now thank you jesus Lord, I give you praise. It's in the name of Jesus Christ.
what's wrong with him? He has what? What's the wait? Hold on. What's the issue? Yes, with my bike. And the leg broke. Wait! You don't try to lift him. This guy had an accident. Look just, at me. Since I when? I think a week ago now. You, you can't walk. The the nurse bandaged my leg. So then what happened? I started. I couldn't walk very well again, so I removed the bandage. Why did you remove the bandage? Because pulse was going out. Pulse was going out of the leg. Yes. Where is it? Ah, oh, goodness! Look at this. Look at me, brother. Yes, sir. Look at me. He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. He's a demon. This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. Look at everybody is seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now. Who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus. I fixed this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come, come, walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't, don't, just do what you couldn't do. He, he's surprised. He's short looking at his leg. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what, hold on. See, the guy, what is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying you are up. feeling it now. Yes. Everybody clear the way for him. Rush, go and come back. Walk, go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with you. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise for that which you are doing in our midst. This leg dries up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. He can move mountains, Phew. keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God, heals me when I'm broken, strength when I'm in
Of them, the right. you've never been able to use it mm, except with age, except with an age. Try to move it, I can move it. just where is which one? Which of them? Try to move it, yeah? just do what I'm telling you to do. Try to stamp it. Without this, eh? Not far. But can you walk without this? Shortly. Very short. Mm. Can you try? Right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come.
Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly. Lord, she's totally free. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. Please bring the request. Quickly, quickly. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Please ushers quickly, quickly, quickly. If you don't have your request, write you one quickly. Are the joy of the whole
Is anyone attending to those outside? Those outside, please. Let's have their request. I hope there's a way of getting the ones on fa on Facebook and all of that. If we can't, we can just reach out to them by faith. Please make sure that you have a prayer request. God answers prayers here. Yeah? Please, everybody, rise if you can. Please, this is a very prophetic moment. Please, we'll start praying. The rest can come and join us. The other one. Pastor, please. Praise God. Listen, please understand that this is not a religion that is done every miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues while the worship team leads us in worship. Just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues. Is that okay? Please go ahead. Shekata ba 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 ba. You do wonders in me. Shekata ba 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 kata ba. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Stretch your hands, oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, O God. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray. That every request here be turned into testimonies. Say faithful God. Let there be deliverance, so God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
Sara Praki Jalima Zatala Broki Jilibana Zataya Rika Lujali Krasatata Pata Shitaba The God of all flesh Jara Pakata Shilia Lizari Kapatasha with the glare Lazata Patasha the one that parted the Red Sea Raka Patashi Talaba Ribi Zuri Brani Nekoto Shitalaba Do the impossible right now do the impossible, do the impossible, do the impossible. You break upon the rings and you pattern it into two. Do the impossible right now. Behold the request of your people. Behold their heart desires. Let there, let there be miracles now. Intervene now. Intervene now. Intervene now. In the name of Jesus. We declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as a, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare. That with this request, so God, let, the, let there be possibility right now. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. Miracles. Open doors. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless the be name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, stand. Everywhere, please stand. I'm about to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on our chest. Out now. Release her and go. Now. Hallelujah. And he said to me, prophesy. And I prophesied as I was commanded, not as I wanted. I prophesied as I was commanded. And there was a sound, a rattling sound, and bones began to be joined to bones. And he said unto me, Son of man, prophesy to the four winds. And I prophesied, O wind, breathe upon the slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the slain, and there stood an exceeding great army. I want to prophesy over your life. I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice. Please believe it. Prophecy is creative. Hallelujah. Please play strings. Thank you, Father, because you always hear me when I call. Lord, as I prophesy over your people, let it not be a ritual, I pray. Nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen. Therefore, I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers, may they back this word and bring it to pass. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah and Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said blessed be Abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth and the prophet said in Samaria by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow the Bible says believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper by a prophet he brought them out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved he says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward do the impossible do the impossible i'm not singing just concentrate my god would you step in and do the impossible do the impossible change the unchangeable Change the unchangeable, my God. Step in to the impossible, to the impossible. Please lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. The name that causes demons to tremble. The name that causes breakthrough and deliverance. I command right now. Let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost. Restoration now restoration now restoration by the power of the holy ghost receive restoration everything you have lost for whatever reason it was lost i command restoration of opportunities in the name of jesus restoration of destiny help us restoration of the years that the canker worm has eaten now hallelujah every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names be cancelled now 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 in the book of job he says in six things will he deliver you yea in seven things and one of them is the scourging tongues of men when men sit down and make enchantments in the name of the God that I serve every cause every pronouncement over your life because now because now because now, because now. Then the Bradisha la Cabaro Satana Malahatia. For he has broken the gates of brass and he has caught. 
the iron in sunder my god i pray every door that has been closed over your people in the name that is above all names if god be in this place i command those two leaf gates be open now be open now i prophesy be open now by the power of prophecy be open now everyone called jobless in this place in the name that is above every other name Satele kabande kretisa ka ashete te balaka ta prege de balada bagada baga. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness? And they brought Mephibosheth, a man who was not qualified, but the favor of God made him to sit at table with David. I pray by the favor of God, wherever you need favor for jobs. I prophesy receive it now receive it now from the north to the south to the east to the west I command jobs every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward may his prophecy come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ I want to break that power that limits men every limitation every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come I speak from the heavens in the name of Jesus limitations be lifted now be lifted now be lifted now I command break records break records set new records do what has not been done I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted the Bible says withhold not good from who him who is due when it is within your power to do so it is within their power to bring the promotion therefore i pray in the name that is above all names we enforce that promotion now we enforce it now everything that has died in your life hear ye the word of the lord come alive now dead relationships come alive now I pray for your academics for he has given me the tongue of the planet that I may know how to speak the word induces into him that is weary he said my tongue is the pen of the right the ready writer my heart has indicted a good matter yea i speak of excellent things daniel was made 10 times better he said i will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say that when you stand before them you shall not think of what to say for in that very hour it will be the spirit of your father speaking I pray everyone call doll I change that testimony now everyone on probation we take you out of it now we take you out of it now everyone on probation we take you out of it now every missing script every injustice done to everyone i command the angel of the lord to go to every department every faculty let justice be done in the name of jesus i 
and everyone that has found that you will not graduate in the name that is above all names we graduate you right here we graduate you right here in the name of jesus christ we graduate you right here that cause of hardship that is upon our families they walk like elephants and eat like ants tonight in the name that is above all names let that cause of hardship be lifted let it be lifted i speak to every job here receive increase i speak to every business here grow i command you to grow i speak to every ministry expand and break levels in the name of jesus christ let the favor of god that can mark you and distinguish you among your peers i prophesy may that mantle of favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus christ may that favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus may that favor hit you where you are may that favor change you may it cause men to bless you hallelujah and i pray may the presence of god go with you everywhere you go everyone struggling with any habit here that is not of god pornography masturbation whatever it is it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ every dead spiritual life every dead prayer life every dead word study life in the name that is above all names come alive now receive the fire for prayer take it take it take it take it take it take it the fire for prayer take it the spirit of prayer and supplication take it let it come upon you like a tornado in the name of jesus grace to pray grace to study grace to understand hallelujah every hidden gift every hidden talent every ability that can bless you that has refused to arise i pray the bible says the gift of a man makes room i pray every hidden gift that the devil has buried i prophesy let it come alive and bless you now let it come alive and bless you now Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. When I cry. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. One more time. Thank you for lifting. 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 Thank you for lifting my head. Hallelujah. Please remain standing. There are people here tonight who are saying, I'm tired of my life. 
I'm tired of living my life the way I want. I need to surrender my life to a God that is higher and greater than me. Some of you have probably given your heart to the Lord. Please listen. But tonight Jesus is calling. You may have a Christian name. That's not the same as salvation. You may even be a pastor. That's not the same as salvation. Tonight the Lord is calling many of you who have been living your lives your own way to relinquish that hold and surrender it completely. I'm going to make an altar call. Just one to five. I want you to run from outside, from inside. Please run like your life depends on it. You are saying, Lord, I am tired. Take it. Take it. It is yours and I'm giving it back to you. I am tired of living life my own way. I have done my best. I relinquish that whole one. Please rush quickly. Celebrate them as they come. Two. Uh -huh. Just come and as you stand here, just begin to pray. And say, Lord, take over. Take over. That's the song. God bless you. You are saying, Lord, I surrender everything. I've been living my life the way I want. But tonight, I'm in business with you. Four. Please don't let anybody stop you from coming. Don't let the devil say you are too far. Start running from there. Young and old. Join us. If you are coming, please keep running. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your friend or your family members stop you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you for all those coming. Thank you for that bold step. Don't let your friend stop you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. God bless you. God bless you. No matter how old, no matter how young, Jesus is calling you tonight. God is still speaking to you. You are saying, Jesus, take everything. Take over. I'm tired of living my life my own way. I give to you. hallelujah i salute every one of you for coming don't make this an emotional decision mean it from the depths of your heart no matter what you have done wrong no matter how you've lived your life i want you to know that there is a fountain that flows from emmanuel's veins and that fountain flows to bless you it flows to wash you it flows to cleanse you lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart Please, you're not reciting a poem. This is between you and the Lord Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I come before you. Unable to help myself. I ask you to help me. Cleanse me. Wash me. With your precious blood. I truly repent of my sins. In the name of Jesus, I receive eternal life into my spirit from today. No backsliding. Some of you, as you are praying this, I tell you, the power of the devil will be broken. All of the chains. You're going to say, Satan, I denounce you right now. Take your hands and live my life. I declare that I'm saved. I'm a child of God. The Lord will use me to do mighty things for his glory. I cut away from wrong associations and everything that takes your place in my life. From today, I'm sold out and totally surrendered. Now keep your hands lifted. Father, bless these ones. You have brought them, use them mightily. Let the power of sin be broken in their lives. Let the power of the grave be broken. Let the power of the flesh be broken. Anoint them and use them mightily, O God. Let this not be an emotional decision. Let this be a genuine decision. In the name of Jesus. Make mighty men out of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. I want you to look at me. 
I congratulate you for this great decision. Everyone here made this decision at one point. Now I'd like you to just follow our ushers. There's a wonderful sister waving her hand. I want you to just follow them. They'll have, they'll give you some information and they'll meet with you tomorrow. God bless you. Please follow them. Follow them very quickly, please. All those worshipping with us for the first time, if this is your first time here at Koinonia, we love you. Please leave your seat and run out here quickly and let us pray and speak a word of blessing. God bless you. If this is your first time, wherever you are, just run and come. There is a special blessing for you. Don't wait for your neighbor. You are the first person. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Thank you. Thank you for coming. We celebrate you. We honor you. We thank you. Keep coming. Don't stop. We have a prayer for you and we have a blessing. And all those who took the pain to invite anybody here, may God invite all the blessings you need in your life. I'm very serious. I'm not just saying it. If anyone came here as a result of your invitation, I pray that my God will invite every good thing and every good person into your life in Jesus' name. Thank you for coming. This is Koinonia. We love you. We bless you. I believe you are blessed tonight. You will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy upon their lives, Koinonia. Bless them. We speak the blessings of the heavens upon your life. We bless you with the blessings of the house. We bless you with prosperity. We bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit. We bless you with wisdom and revelation and understanding. We bless you with grace. We bless you with the power of the Holy Spirit. May you experience the life of God in a new dimension. May God plant a hunger for spiritual things in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you once again for coming. We love you. We're always here Fridays. And I assure you that your life will never be the same. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.